Welcome to the Owatonna Today Show, your community connection. I'm your host, Francie Hall. On today's show, uh, we are going to be visiting with the Owatonna businesswoman. They have their fall workshop coming up, so we're going to be talking about that. And then the next segment, Leanne and I took a trip, a little field trip, over to St. Clair's Menswear. And unfortunately, as um, you may know, Greg Krieger is retiring. So we're going to take a, one last look at the store, inside the store, and talk with Greg about his retirement and his plans. Uh, we want you to know that if you have ideas for future shows, people doing interesting things, events coming up, community activities, please let us know. We'd love to have them on the show. You can contact us at owatonnatoday at charter.net. Please stay with us after a word from our sponsors. We'll be right back with the Owatonna Businesswoman. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Hi, I'm Rick Smith, golf course superintendent of the Brooktree Golf Course. Brooktree is an 18-hole championship golf course featuring well-manicured greens, tees, and fairways. We are open to the public. I challenge you to find a better maintained golf course for the money we charge here at Brooktree. Come on out and play Brooktree, a great golf course. The Oatana Foundation's mission is to support community progress, and the Foundation has been doing just that since 1958 in the Oatana community. By issuing over $11 million in grants, the Oatana Foundation has helped organizations fulfill their goals in the areas of community, recreation, the arts, and education. Please consider a tax-deductible donation, a memorial, or possibly including the Foundation in your estate planning so that together we can continue to make a positive, lasting impact in our community. Preserving the past, building the present, funding the future, that is what your Oatana Foundation is all about. Hi, I'm Larry Pierce and I play Charlie Baker. And I'm April May Spring and I play Katherine Sims in LTO's current production of The Foreigner, directed by Kathy Rush and sponsored by United Prairie Bank. Performances of The Foreigner will be held Friday and Saturday, October 16th and 17th at 7.30 p.m. with a matinee on Sunday, October 18th at 2 p.m. And again the following Thursday through Saturday, October 22nd, 23rd and 24th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are available at the LTO box office by calling 451-0764 or online at the Little Theater of Oatana.org. Don't, Don't miss, miss LTO's, LTO's production, production of, of the, the Foreigner. Welcome back. We are joined by Meg Miller, Katie Simon, and Ryan Gillespie with Owatonna Businesswomen. Hello. Good Hi, morning. Or should I say women? Um, <laughs> so we're talking about the Fall Leadership Conference. Is that right? Yes. Yes. So first of all, um, let's just get to know a little bit about you before we talk about that. Meg, can you tell us a little bit about what you do when you're not organizing things for Owatonna Businesswomen? Yeah, I am an area property manager for Lassen Management. I oversee all of their portfolio here in Owatonna, and I also help with their commercial properties, homeowner associations, and senior co-ops. Okay, and they've been around 25 years this year, Yes. right? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. How about you, Katie? Um, you I work do? virtual office for a company called Converge One out of uh, uh, Egan, and um, I am a sales consultant for Contact Center um, across kind of the Midwest area and some large corporations. Okay, and you said virtual office, so you get to right. work from home? So I work from home or if I'm not shop? traveling. Oh. Well, I wish I would <laughs> no, I have a lot from home that I work uh, work on, but then I also do a lot of traveling. So okay. this, so tomorrow I'm off to Des Moines and Thursday I'm in Omaha for the day, so I get all over. Okay, all right. Well, thanks for taking time to be here then. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate yeah. it. And Ryan, how about you? I work at Bremer Bank here in town and do mortgages. Okay. Well, and each of you are involved with Owatonna Businesswoman. Um, and so let's first just let folks know what's coming up. We want them to know about the workshop coming, the fall workshop. Fall event, yes. So Tuesday, October 20th at 6 p.m. at the Steel County History Center, we have our fall event. This year we've chosen leadership as our theme. So we have um, Margaret Smith coming down from the city. She's an author and a speaker, uh, a corporate trainer. She spent many years at 3M, and she is coming down to, for about an hour presentation for our workshop event, Tuesday, October 20th. And um, what time? She, 6 p.m. Okay. <laughs> yep, so right after work, enough time to get home, 
set your stuff down, turn around and come back and have some snacks and refreshments and get a little leadership training in to help really from the personal development, professional development. Um, her theme is called the 10 minute leadership challenge. So teaching us how to really get a good, uh, you know, what do we say, a pack a punch in 10 minutes yeah. on the leadership challenge and how to really hone in your skills and use those. Um, great way to build your resume. A lot of people think, you know, how do I get experience? How do I find time to learn more? This is a great opportunity to do that. Um, so for young people in their careers, great opportunity to build your resume, but then also for those of us that have been around a while, refreshers in our careers as well. Okay, great. All right. And, um, and during the day, she's going to be speaking at... She's going to come during the day. We have our uh, monthly meeting on Tuesday, October 20th as well from 1130 to 1 at the Otana Country Club. And she's going to come and give us a little teaser of her presentation um, for a few minutes in the afternoon, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And then the big one is at night, that same evening at 6 o'clock at this History Center. And how did you find her? How did you come upon her as the speaker? So she came very highly recommended um, from several people here in the community and then also from our, some of our contacts in the cities. A few of us that do work um, you know, in the metro area have some contacts up there and we were looking for someone that could really come in and talk leadership and um, help us uh, you know, see a bigger picture, have a little broader view of the world. And so she came recommended from there. And it was really nice. We had some people um, comment on our Facebook link that they've seen her before and that she does a great job. Okay, and so leadership. Um, what if we're, we're somebody who's not in a leadership role, um, but you know, just in our daily lives? Is this going to be helpful in that regard? Absolutely, and that's her whole message is all around what can we do just very short term? What can we do in the big picture in our careers? Because there's always a time in our lives where we're going to have to be a leader. It might be in a small group. It might be just one or two people where someone needs to take the reins. But it might be in the bigger case. It might be that you're asked to take on a new project at work and you're the person in charge of that project. Or for us uh, in OBW, all of us are on the leadership team of a nonprofit organization. Okay. And what does that look like, by the way? So you, what are your roles with Owatonna Businesswomen? Let's start with Lauren. Sure. So we are all on the executive board of Owatonna Businesswomen, and I am in my second year um, as vice president of membership. And it's a really fun role because it's an opportunity to not only interact more with the members, but to reach out to potential members. So meeting community members and and. Not only women, but men are, are also welcome to the group. You're welcome, um, men. You can join too. <laughs> but anyone that really, um, you know, we, we touch on the personal, political, and professional pieces of life and growth. And um, I, I can't think of a member that hasn't found some benefit to it. Great. How about you, Katie? What um, is your role? So I am the first vice president of communications. Um, this is my second take at the executive board. I was the president several years ago um, and then just found that I liked being a part of this organization so much and I liked shaping the viewpoints of our organization to see you know, this whole new generation coming in. Um, when I started, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years ago, our membership had dwindled down to maybe about 15 members, and now we're up over 60 with new members, you know, two or three new members joining every month. So very exciting. I like being in that role to kind of help shape and challenge the new members as well. And how about you, Meg? What role do you serve? I am the secretary, and I'm also on the social committee. All right. Secretaries on boards are so important. I mean, <laughs> all of you are, but just, you know, having to take those notes on... Um, Thank you for doing that. No, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> what is um, Owatonna Business One? What are the what are the spectrum of the people who are involved with that organization? What kind of jobs do they have? What kind of lives do they have? So I I would say that we see um, we actually do have a couple homemakers currently that want to stay connected, um, maybe thinking about eventually re-entering the workforce, but. I think that also speaks to the fact that they have made some personal friendships and relationships in that group that it's worthwhile to them to continue their membership. Mm -hmm. But we do also, we have a lot of, um, I would say, self-employed folks that maybe have an at-home business, out-of-home business, or, you know, more of the entrepreneurial mm -hmm. um, track. And then some, you know, small, small business folks, some corporate folks. Really, it's a diverse group of, of individuals that... Um, we, we work together really well, I think, because it is such a diverse group. We really um, reflect a, a broad array of 
the Oatana professional environment, I okay. would say. Okay, so <clears throat> spectrum of people. So it doesn't matter what your what your situation is, what your role is in the whether you're at home or, or in a business, you, you can be part of the Oatana businesswoman. Mm -hmm. All right. What does so the fall? We've got the fall workshop coming up. What else does Oatana businesswoman do if I want to join? Um, so what do I get? We have our monthly meetings. We meet the third Tuesday of every month at the Otana Country Club from 11.30 to 1. Uh, professional and, and networking um, for about 30 minutes. Then we have a speaker that we bring in every month. It could be something that's happening in our community. Last month we had um, Peter Grant come in and talk about the referendum. Um, we've had professional development. We've had um, personal topics of interest. We've had nonprofits come in. Um, and then we create events throughout the year, especially we're most known for our Woman of Achievement in March. So that's our big event. That's our big scholarship fundraiser um, where we give back to the community several thousand dollars in scholarships. And who do those scholarships go to? Um, they go to um, two high school students that are moving on to um, college. They also go to two, um, we call them non-traditional students. So someone that's maybe older and going back to school or that is continuing their education in you know, some other way, shape, or form that's not traditional as a high school student. And then a few years ago, we added on a couple of GED scholarships to help people that said, you know what, I just need to get my high school degree. And that $50 or $100 can be a lot to that population. And so what we decided to do was to give back in that regard, too. Neat. I like it. Yeah. And if I want to come to a meeting on the third Tuesday? Third Tuesday. Third, thank you. I um, what, what, what am I going to experience? So actually you'll come in and the one thing that I want everyone to know is that there are so many new members there. Every year we have a, a big group of new members coming in. So a lot of people feel like maybe they're the um, newbie on the block that day and there might be several people coming in. But um, Ryan's uh, our greeter of new members and so she will help get people get situated and come and have lunch. Um, listen to a speaker, and then Ryan will connect them with if they want to continue on and join. How they can do that. And so, and on on um, the for the workshop that's coming up, it's at six o'clock. Six o'clock. And Tuesday, we October get 20th. we have some snacks coming. What we else? We have can refreshments you that evening that'll be there. Um, so that I know it's kind of over the supper hour. So we'll have some um, light refreshments and snacks for everyone to eat while we do the. Um, leadership workshop. Okay. Well, if somebody would like to come to that, let's one more time um, give them some contact information, date, time, place, and uh, if there's a cost. Okay. Tuesday, October 20th, 6 o'clock p.m. at the Steele County History Center. Tickets are available at uh, Trium Graphics and Bremer Bank here in town for $20. Um, they can be purchased. Um, it's less than a week away, so get in and get your tickets, uh, okay. Bremer Bank or Trium Graphics. All right. And I think that you can be found on Facebook. Just look up Owatonna Businesswoman. Thank you so much for joining us, May, Katie, and Ryan. We appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. Stay with us because Leanne and I took a field trip to St. Clair's Men's Store, and we'll be back with that segment next. Hi, I'm Mike Bath, General Manager of the Napa Distribution Center and 2015 Corporate Campaign Leader for United Way of Steele County. Every dollar donated during this year's United Way campaign is an investment in the future of our county. Our goal this year is to raise $670,000 to create a stronger, healthier community where everyone has the opportunity to meet their basic life needs and reach their full potential. It takes all of us pulling together to meet our common goals. And thank you for doing your part to support United Way of Steele County by giving from the heart to this year's campaign. The majority of fatal home fires happen at night when people are sleeping. Smoke alarms give you time to escape. We recommend that you have a smoke alarm in every sleeping room of the house and on every floor in the common living areas. Smoke alarms should be tested monthly and batteries should be replaced at least once a year. This is a safety tip from the Oatana Fire Department. 
Hello, I'm Glenn Mager. And I'm Michael Mager with the Brick Mager Funeral Home and the Medford Funeral Home. At Brick Mager, we are privileged to have served the families of Steele County community for 118 years. Whether you choose traditional burial or cremation, we promise the tribute your loved one deserve with the peace of mind that you require. We are proud to be part of the Owatonna Today Show. Hi, this is Barry Gillespie, president of ERA Gillespie Real Estate, where our pledge is to save you money, save you time, and simplify your life. And we're proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. The Oatana Foundation's mission is to support community progress, and the foundation has been doing just that since 1958 in the Oatana community. By issuing over $11 million in grants, the Oatana Foundation has helped organizations fulfill their goals in the areas of community, recreation, the arts, and education. Please consider a tax-deductible donation, a memorial, or possibly including the foundation in your estate planning so that together we can continue to make a positive, lasting impact in our community. Preserving the past, building the present, funding the future, that is what your Oatana Foundation is all about. Welcome back to the Owatonna Today Show, your community connection. We are here at St. Clair's Men's Store with Greg Krieger. And we're here because the store is closing. Well, they're quitting business. Right. They're not closing. They're, they're, <laughs> there's they, a difference. They, yeah, there's a difference. You've had a great run here. Um, and so that's what we're here for. We're here to tell people, first of all, you got to come and get these super high quality products and the amazing service now <laughs> because it's it's not going to be here, which is terrible for me. I just can't even <laughs> say that practically. No, so, but it's uh, yeah, it's a bittersweet event. Um, yeah. Business was still very good, um, but because of some health issues and some other things that uh, need to be uh, tended to, it was time. Uh, I, my uh, physician that I see for my joints and all that sort of thing that I'm having trouble with actually wanted me to do this two years ago. And I said, no, I can't do it. Well, finally it came to the point where my family sat me down basically and said, Dad, it's time. You know, we have, a, we have our first grandchild coming in January. Congratulations. And we're super excited about that. And I want to be able to get down on the floor with him and play with him and do the things I really need to do as a grandfather. and. Uh, so it was time to make the decision to stop pounding the floor 60 hours a week and uh, and after this is over I'll find a new venture and continue to work someplace but it'll be something where I'm not so physically active. So. And you mentioned that two years ago mm -hmm. your physician said you know it's time to hang it up you need <laughs> to you know what was it that made you say no no? First of all I was a little young then to do it and second of all, I just love this business and, you know, we just, I just kind of suffered through it and got some treatments and did some things and, um, but now it's, it, it's time. It, it's, uh, the time is right for my family and that's the main thing about this is, is all, it's all about family mm -hmm. and they're all close here so we get together a lot. Um, you know, my, my new grandchild will be in Madison Lake, which is very close to here. And so we're, uh, we're super excited about that. And they just wanted me, the, the big kicker was one day my wife said to me, she said, you know, our grandson's going to be in a lot of events. I don't want to be pushing you to him in a wheelchair. Oh, my God. Well, wow. That, yeah, hammer, that, that, that hammer hit pretty hard. That <laughs> would. That would. So. Well, after, for the people who don't already know, 30 35 years in Owatonna and six and a half years before that. So I've been in retail or in menswear 42 years. And just, and what do you love the most about it that kept you here for that long in this industry? The people. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun giving customer service to people the way it's supposed to be given. Not throwing it at them and sending them out the door to get to the next customer. Um, if I had to operate the way the big box stores operate, I'd have quit a long time ago. But we were able to to accomplish the things we needed to accomplish by giving customer service and and like we we always say we like to spoil them for shopping someplace else it's true i walked it took me a while to walk through these doors mm -hmm. and once i did i just thought oh my gosh all i had to do was say you know this is kind of what i'm looking for and this is i think the size and 
and I, you guys knew exactly where to send me because there's a lot. There's a lot of yeah, um, a, great really a lot of merchandise, right merchandise now in, here. <laughs> in this store, and you know I'd be looking over in some place I shouldn't be, and you know Ray would come up <laughs> and say, um, "Well, I, how about this one?" And I'd say, "Well, I don't know about that." He goes, "Well, you're you're looking in the wrong <laughs> section. You should really come over here." You guys yeah. are so so good with that. And that, that's you know that's the key because you're. They can buy anything that I have someplace else. Maybe for more money, maybe for less money. You know, that's the immaterial part of it. But they can't get me or my staff anywhere mm -mm. else. Mm -mm. And that was our key to success, was just taking care of customers. The notes and letters I've gotten from people in the last two weeks are so heartwarming. And it just, and they all talk about customer service mm -hmm. and taking care of them. And that's, and it's a generational thing. We've got three generations that we've been taking care of in some families and it's just really been heartwarming to see those people respond in mm -hmm. those ways and uh, but you know we have right now we have about 1100 suits and sport coats in here which is about 400 more than I normally do because typically I schedule my shipments on a 30-day mm -hmm. uh, cycle well, we tried to get everything in for fall early because mm -hmm. we knew this was coming, and so if anybody needs so anything, did you already had you already kind of ordered it and you just needed? Well, yeah, to, this is stuff. So I, this is stuff you bought and a year it's ago. got a year ago, and wow. Okay. And it just it takes that long to process everything and get it shipped in and all that sort of stuff. So we tried to get it all shipped in early. So we are loaded to the, mm -hmm. the walls are bulging. The wall, yes. And the prices are great. <laughs> and you said earlier. I would not have, you know, this is not what your store usually looks like. That's right. Um, you are very particular about how the attractiveness of the store yep. and the accessibility yep. of the products. So it's not exactly your kind of favorite theme, right. but um, it's what works. And, yep. and to, if you're bulging at the seams, you've got to, you've yep. got to try That's something right. different. That's right. We, um, the day we opened, I came in a little early and I just sat in the back of the store for about 20 minutes and just looked at it and just went, it's time. Let's get oh. let's get this going because I don't like the way the store looks, but it works. <laughs> well, we're so glad that at least you're you are not leaving the community. Nope. It's the, nope. the unfortunately the store is not nope. going to be here nope. any longer. What brought you to Owatonna? Uh, St. Clair's. Mm -hmm. I worked for St. Clair's. They were a chain store at the time. They had 17 stores. I worked for St. Clair's in Wausau, Wisconsin, and the opportunity came for me to become a, a manager of this store. And so we came and looked at the town, and my wife had just started a, a position in Wassa with the library. And we came and looked at Owatonna, and it's kind of ironic. We were uh, we did a vacation trip one time to visit all the towns that had St. Clair stores in them. Because you knew then you were, this is what you were going to yeah, do. Yeah, and so anyway, we left Owatonna that time, and I told Bonnie, I said, if Owatonna opened up, that's the store I want. Mm -hmm. Well, we left here that June and drove back. We were driving back to Wassa, and I knew this was a decision I couldn't make. This was a decision Bonnie had to make because she had just started her career there. And so anyway, we're coming in off the freeway, and she said, I guess we better stop at the lumber yard and pick up the stuff we need to finish the bathroom so we can put the house up for sale. And how, what, did you, what happened in your mind when she said that? Well, I, I wanted to jump for joy, but <laughs> but you know, it's not a me, it's an us. That's and such. So that's so. We, uh, that's true. People think about that when uh, you married people. And so we, um, she made the decision, mm. and so we made the move, and uh, it's probably the best thing we've ever done. And the rest so, is history. Yep. Although there's more to the story. Oh, yeah. Coming yeah. up, there's uh, more to the story. We're not. We're not leaving Owatonna. This is home. Um, I plan on, fully plan on working after I'm out of the store. It just has to be something where I'm not pounding the floor mm -hmm. 60 hours a week. So 60 yeah. hours a week and 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 for uh, 52 weeks a year, <laughs> for 35 years, that is a lot a of lot of pounding hours the floor. and standing because I don't see any chairs really. No, I mean, we're well, there's a couple, but. The time. Well, that's the queen's chair over there. Bonnie's? Does no, she come and sit no. there? Oh, no, that's the, oh, that's the right. When we want to come and see the, <laughs> okay. So what is it that you are going to, um, well, miss the most about being here every day? I mean, those 60 hours, you came here for a reason. You loved it. Mm -hmm. What are you going to miss the very most? The people. Mm -hmm. um, it's just so much fun. And we like to have fun here. You do. watching 
a guy who comes in who doesn't have a clue about what he needs, helping him put something on and look in the mirror and say, wow, I really like that. You know, and his wife going, yes, finally. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but uh, that's the thing I'm going to miss the most is just the interaction with the people. So mm -hmm. hopefully what I find after this will give me an opportunity to keep doing that. So, How about your employees? They've been here for many, many years <laughs> with you. Right? I'm, I'm the youngster of the bunch. Oh, my goodness. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've got uh, one employee that's been with me 29 years. My tailor has been with me 27 years, and my part-time employee who went part-time, believe it or not, he went part-time at age 65, and he's been here 13 more years, wow. has been with me 24 years. Wow. So uh, wow. we like to think we're kind of going out together, and we kind of came in together, so it's uh, that part of it is really good. So. And you'll be maintaining those friendships oh, yeah. For, yeah. For forever forever yep. to come. So, I already told my tailor who lives in Wasika, don't worry, I'm going to be coming over for coffee quite often. <laughs> well, we, um, we encourage you to come over, not for coffee, but, you know, for the great service and to say hello and goodbye. No, not goodbye. Well, to the store. To the store. And, um, and well, I guess we'll see you later to you yep. and, to the, and to the staff that yep. work here. Come on down to St. Clair's Men's Store. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be here forever like we thought. So How much longer, Greg? We're going to be here through the 19th of December. Okay. Um, and there's plenty to sell until there. So, so yep. come in. Yeah. I, in fact, I still have some stuff coming. So oh, there's wow. there going to be some fresh stuff on the shelves probably for the next month. In time for Christmas. Month. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for you. being in this community and being such a foundation in the community. We so appreciate you, and I'm glad you're sticking around. Thank you. All right. Thank you for sticking around. Please do stay with us um, after a word from our sponsors. Amy Swain Hearing Centers is a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. I'm Dr. Amy Swain, and I want everyone to hear better. I'm Deb Gillard. And I'm Sean McNulty with Brookdale Owatonna Senior Living Solutions. We are assisted living and Alzheimer's and dementia care communities here in Owatonna and formerly known as Claire Bridge and Sterling House. And we are proud sponsors of the Owatonna Today Show. Welcome back to the Owatonna Today Show, your community connection. We would like to let you know what's going on in the community, so let's get started with that. Little Theater of Owatonna is announcing auditions for its upcoming holiday show, A Christmas Carol. This is for LTO's 50th anniversary season. Auditions will be held 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. on Sunday, October 18th and Monday, October 19th at the Little Theater. If you have questions, call Jeffrey Jackson at 507 475 0172. Also, Little Theater of Owatonna is beginning its 50th season with the hilarious comedy The Foreigner. That's coming up very soon um, by Larry Hsu. This award-winning play is directed by Kathy Rush, and the production dates are October 16th, 17th, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th at 7.30 p.m. And October 18th, the matinee is at 2 p.m. The Owatonna Businesswoman is hosting the Leadership Workshop on Tuesday, October 20th at the Steele County History Center from 6 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. Event is open to the public and tickets for $20 can be purchased at Trium Graphics or Bremer Bank or at the door. Um, we want you to join us again now for our next shows coming up. We have the Southeastern Min Minnesota Initiative Foundation, an update on what they've been up to. And also we're gonna learn about Feed My Starving Children and the Owatonna Pack that's coming up. So we encourage you to come and join us then.